Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Nelson's Doctor starring Shiva Karthikeyan and Priyanka Arul Mohan. Now imagine the situation. You are the hero of a big movie and a girl you know has been kidnapped. What would you do? You would maybe find the local kidnappers to do these things, the local, the lowest of the low people. You would threaten them. And then through them, you would get to know who the second rung in the hierarchy of kidnappers is. And slowly you would go from rung to rung until you reach the very top, the ultimate villain, who is very smartly played here by Vinay Rai. This is what you would do, and you would do all of this single-handedly. You will fight this guy, you will save the girl, all is well, right? But Nelson says, wrong. Nelson says that even with the very same series of steps that I just outlined, a movie can be very, very different. He says that you can assemble a terrific supporting cast, that's Archana, Ilavarasu and Yogi Babu, and treat a family tragedy, which is this kidnapping of this young girl, and treat this family tragedy like a wacky comedy. And he says that you can treat a hero who's known for making a smile and make him remain serious throughout. The only time Shiva Karthikeyan smiles in this movie is during the hit Chellama song, which is placed right at the end actually. So it remains in character that throughout the movie, he doesn't even crack one single smile. Now imagine that again, a Sivakarthikeyan movie where he doesn't crack a single smile. That famous Sivakarthikeyan grin you see on posters is completely absent. And there is a reason. He plays a doctor and in the very first scene that we see him in, he's in a war zone. He's in one of those tents, he has two patients to treat. One of them is a colonel who's on the verge of dying, an Indian colonel. The other one is a terrorist. Now, he decides to treat the terrorist because that guy is not as grievously wounded. And if you treat the terrorist, then there is a chance that he might be saved and he might give us vital information that we need. This is the trait that defines the Sivakarte Kane character, the doctor, throughout the film. He is not a Katiputi Vaidyam kind of guy. He is very unemotional. He is utterly logical. He says that you cannot reveal your feelings while doing an operation, whether it is an actual operation like a surgery or whether it is an operation in the sense of saving a kidnapped girl. A big salute to Shiva Karthikeyan for playing this robotic character without thinking, will my fans still like me? And this is in continuation with Vijay's alcoholism and master and Ajit's bipolarity in Erkunda Parvai, it's really great to see our big heroes getting adventurous in their choice of roles. But the real hero of this movie is the director Nelson because in every scene, every scene that he's written, his logic seems to be, how can we make the scene different? How can we avoid the cliches? For example, why should the hero always fight alone? Why does he always get to save the day single-handedly? Why can't he get help from other people? Or consider this, why should the hero and heroine always fall in love in the first half? Why can't that happen at a much later stage? At a much, 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 much later stage. And so in the first half, where the energy levels are typically high and where you typically expect duets, why instead cannot we have a sad song, a slow-mo kind of sad song, where we show the family of the kidnapped girl in tragedy and therefore we feel how much pain they are in. In many, many ways, I was reminded of Nelson's debut, Kolama Vukokila. There too, there was this constant effort to be different, this constant effort to avoid cliché. There was no hero, the whole film revolved around the heroine and there was a very very tragic issue of the heroine's mother's lung cancer and yet the film was treated like a wacky comedy. So at a basic level, like Koloma Vakokila, Doctor is certainly entertaining. It takes a serious issue and takes it in a totally different direction. Totally different and also tonally different direction. In Koloma Vakokila, the serious issue of lung cancer became a black comedy come drama and here in Doctor, the serious issue of human trafficking becomes a black comedy come thriller. Anirudh really gets this director. Like in Koloma Vukokila, here too he gets the tones the director is after. So here you get the tones of the black comedy and the thriller but in very different instrumental shades. The cinematographer is Vijay Karthik Kannan. If you remember Sivakumar's Vijay's work in Koloma Vukokila, he was a cinematographer there. You notice a lot of neon lights and things like that. It, that is a very colorful film. Whereas here, this is a more quasi-realistic film and this look by Vijay Karthik Kannan works beautifully. But I also faced a similar issue that I faced with Koloma Vukokila. I think both films on paper to read as a screenplay would have been fantastic with all the humor, with all the cliche breaking. But on screen, the tones sometimes clash. And when the films go straight, that is, for example, when they go get all serious, the mood falls flat. 
Another thing is the pacing. The way Nelson stages his scenes, you feel they need a little more energy, a little more zing. He lets every moment linger a beat or two more than necessary and this makes a lot of scenes less than what they could have been. In the sense that you're still appreciating the lack of cliché and you're still laughing at the individual lines and the individual jokes, but taken as a whole scene, taken as the entirety, you feel that sometimes this should have worked much, much better. But then, like I said, Doctor is still a solid entertainer. Then there are many, many, many memorable moments. The profit-sharing joke scene, the way Yogi Babu has this hand-slapping game, the way the villain stages a trump card at the breakfast table at a resort, and best of all, something that I didn't expect at all, the way the hero himself stages a kidnapping. Oh, and there's also a terrific, terrific action scene on a metro train. I mean, it is staged with so much humor and so much... You just don't expect from minute to minute what is going to happen. There were so many times in Doctor, I was like, what the hell? How the hell is he imagining it? Nelson is no doubt a very, very unique and individual director. Whether it's the way he thinks or writes, he has a very, very unique signature. So many scenes in Doctor are so fantastically imaginative that the film really, really raises your hopes for the film that Nelson is doing next, which is with Vijay. So that's it about Doctor. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies.